the overflowing urn. Classic water feature. You see them all over the place. It looks simple. There's only one secret to it. I'm going to show you that. So stick with me. I'm going to get started by putting the pump into place. And i got to do something with all this wire. I'll show you how I deal with it. The access port is here. And this is where our pump is going to go. And it's going to pretty much sit with this. Just like that. So there's a couple of things we, we, we need to consider when we're looking at a, at a pump. This one here is magnetic drive, which uh, basically means that there's really no moving parts other than the, the shaft. Um, they're easy to clean, they're durable, and they're, they're really, a, it's all one sealed unit. I think that's what's most important, is that it's, it's very safe in the water because it's all one sealed unit. Only one thing can go wrong with it, and that's that it actually physically breaks. And I've had that happen a couple of times where a shaft breaks or uh, we get something jammed inside. So I want this to go in there, and this is going to connect to the hose that's going to go up. So let's, let's wind up a bunch here, and we'll just wire tie it or whatever to get it out of the way. So I kind of want to keep this in, in a way that I'm going to have easy access to the valve, this flow, flow control valve, because I want to uh, be able to open it up and close it as, as I need to. So now that that's in there, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put a level on this so that it looks relatively level because want it to look good, right? So I've got a bunch of shims here. Leveling this, and this is a secret, leveling this in no way levels the urn. So even if the base is perfectly level, not gonna, it's not going to make a bit of difference with, with the urn. But I want this to look, look flat. That's why, I, that's why I'm putting a level in. It looks pretty good. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of happy. I'm happy enough with that. The next step is to set up the urn. I'm going to reach up inside there and try and find the hose. This hose. That hose has got to go down into there. And then we can set this. Uh. Oh, I'm going to position this in a way that it's going to rock the least on its own. We're going to do the same up top. As you can tell, even though it's leveled below, up top is really quite the match. The point that we're at now, we're very, very close. So that we're very, very close means we're going to put some water in this. We're going to do some fine tuning while it's running. We can see the water's flowing all the way around this side. But here, there's no flow at all means that we've got to put a bit of a shim in there just enough to nudge that over. So I'm going to come on this side here where we have a lot of flow and I stick a shim underneath that. I think you got to go a bit more on that side. That is all coming here and nothing there. It's so close, eh? You think one more? Oh, 
And once, once you get it perfectly done, what you're going to see is water flowing all the way around it. And that's when you know you've got it centered. Nice job. So these types of water features, they don't require a ton of maintenance. The only thing that you have to be concerned about is that it doesn't lose too much water from evaporation and from the wind just carrying it away. So check it often. I keep this one on a timer. Don't run it at night, just in the daytime hours. And it's been running really good for a lot of years. Finishing touches. Drop a few flowers in the bottom, make it look nice. We're gonna add some coloring just to make it, to make it what? Blue. To make it blue. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss a thing. And that wraps up the three part series on water feature. Coming up next is the big one. This large water feature that we started in the fall it's going to need some love there pretty soon. It's a big job.